Hello everyone, welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. Um, this is a, a standard size American bourbon barrel at 250 liters, and it just goes to show how big they are. I'm five foot eight, and I'm, you know, as you can see, not really touching the ground on this thing. Um, but we're here today to talk about whiskey, and my, my clothes have weirdly matched up to the packaging, which wasn't intentional. Uh, this is the Highland Park Twisted Tattoo. Um, great name, super punk rock, I'm all about the name. It is a 16 year old 46.7% single malt. Uh, it's all natural colour and it's filtered to 4 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's not, f it's not true chill filtration, it's partial chill filtration. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into that because we don't have that much time. Um, but anything below 0 degrees Celsius is true chill filtration. But this is only 4 degrees C. Um, Highland Park are a big brand, they're owned by a big company, one of the biggest drinks companies in the world, and I really appreciate the level of honesty they've gone to on this. So with the chill filtration fact, with its all natural colour, which is great, it's boozier at 46.7 and it's a minimum of 16 years old. But the most interesting point, or one of them, is that it's been matured in ex-bourbon and ex-Rioca casks. So I don't know a lot about red wine, but it's, it's quite an interesting finishing process and that kind of stuff gets me excited when it comes to whiskey. So Rioja typically is peppery, bourbon casks have their spice influence, but you know, they've got the creamy caramels and the coconuts and the vanillas all coming through them as well. Um, the bottle's great, you'll see in the cutaways like how cool the bottle is. Um, I forget the gentleman's name who designed it, I think his first name's Colin. You'll have to forgive me Colin, but I forgot your surname. Um, great black bottle. A lot of people aren't sold on the way the bottle looks. I think it's particularly cool, um, but you know, it's not for everyone. But let's smell, let's taste, let's talk about Highland Park Twisted Tattoo. Real kind of stone fruity nose, get like peaches, um, like kind of dried apricots, different kinds of kiwis. Bit boozy, a bit spicy on the nose. It's like a nice undertone of kind of shaved coconut, almonds. Bit chocolatey. Uh, not getting too much wine, not too much at all. Um, as I said, not a big wine fan. When I am, it's white wine rather than red. But I suppose you could probably kind of linking apricots and peaches with maybe a Rioja. Wine fans in the comments, let me know if that's true. I don't know. But a wonderfully fruity nose, almost no smoke. It's not a heavily peated whiskey, but there's none of that kind of classic honey, coffee, kind of bitter chocolate smoke that I always get from Highland Park. Very fruit dominant, very forward, with a little bit of spice. But the taste. Ooh, there's more on the palate than there is on the nose. Whew. That is like hot and peppery, but in the nicest way possible. That is really foreboding. The nose is so gentle and alluring of like peaches and apricots and black currants and stuff. And then my God, when you taste it, that is, that is a full on product. Um, initially quite dry, like kind of you know raisiny dry not much kind of juiciness to it at all and then in comes like this just wave of pepper i can still feel it around my gums now it's like black white black and white pepper kind of lemon scented pepper just this like ridiculous onslaught of spice and then that's kind of backed up at the finish with what the nose is is apricotty and uh, apricotty and peachy and that that does not taste anywhere near what it smells like. It is it is a much bigger, bigger animal on the taste. Second taste. Expected the pepper that time. 
and now we're pulling in more of those again kind of bitter fruit flavors dried apricot the smoke's making itself known now there's a little bit of coffee there's a little bit of kind of just kind of charcoal kind of burnt food not that much chocolate I wouldn't lean it towards that but you are getting like a tannic element which again when you would associate with red wine it's dry to a degree vinegary but not unpleasant quite flattering to the spicy elements of it it's quite soothing um, genuinely quite astonished because I, I bought I split this bottle with a colleague and when we opened it we thought ah oh, it's great but it's been open for maybe about a month now and it, it's got significantly more complex um, than what I originally thought it would get to. Um, but to summarize, like a beautifully sweet nose, very summery, um, apricot, blackcurrant, coconuts, etc. A huge kick of like dryness and spiciness as it hits your palate. It just lines your gums with like, uh, like you know, kind of covering fire of pepper. It's like with just loads of pepper. Second taste, you get more of the smoke, you get more of like a classic Highland Park approach to it. Um, that, is, that is a, a very, very, very good whiskey. A really, really good whiskey. I'm probably going to buy another one. Uh, it's, it's about 80 pounds a bottle, um, which for a limited edition of Highland Park is kind of the norm. I'd imagine like 80 to about 120. Um, I will be buying another one, but like a full one of my own. But I, I think that is a, just a deliciously complex product. And if you don't like the packaging, I get it. I understand why, but un underneath the packaging is, is a wondrous whiskey, a real experience of a Highland Park product and something that I feel has been missing from their range for a while, like a real animal, like a real assault of a standard bottling rather than a single cask. Um, that's like a solid eight in my book. We'll be getting another one, we'll be kind of leading the charge with it. Um, Thank you all for watching. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit there. Uh, this is, I'm Phil. This is the Whiskey Shop in Manchester. Pop by and see me because I've got one of these open. Uh, this is Highland Park Twisted Tattoo. 16 year old at 46.7%. This is a barrel that is stupidly large and makes me look tiny. I'm off back to the Shire and I will see you all next week. Cheers.